According to some people, our gracious majesty the Queen has made a huge mistake in planning her platinum jubilee celebrations. But as ever, what are they? And really, what final decision could she have made? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have you company today. This as ever really centers on just two people. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because what should be a spectacular celebration over four days, celebrating a lady, as I've often said here, who's given so much from her personal life and of course her life of service for 70 years is embroiled in these very difficult decisions when it really should all be about celebrating her historic achievement, her life, her work and her legacy. But once again, Harry and Meghan, Tantrum Harry, has decided that they can simply make it all about them. Now there was a report earlier this week that basically claimed Harry was signing up to play polo for the entire summer, meaning he would be missing any opportunity to return here to the United Kingdom alongside his grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen. And a lot of people really weren't that disappointed, particularly over here in the United Kingdom, because as I say, his rating poll is incredibly low right now. But now it's been announced that Her Majesty has invited them uh, to the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Nothing in the public domain. I'm sort of hearing that it would be something at the palace, at Windsor Castle, that sort of stuff. But knowing how Harry and Meghan, and as ever we have to say allegedly, can make sure that those particular incidents get out into the public domain, then of course it just really sort of fastens their glamour back to the British monarchy. And the people over here in the United Kingdom really, really don't want that. Now, since this news broke, we've had quite a lot of, um, shall we say, interesting vox pops from people that we've taken around London. Many people are now very disappointed in the decision by Her Majesty the Queen to invite Harry and Meghan, and they are basically saying they're going to boycott the celebrations. Now, what I would suggest is a little bit of um, sensibility here at this point. It is very difficult because while she is the monarch and she is celebrating 70 years on the throne, she's also celebrated with her family around her. And at 96 years old, it must be her decision to decide exactly how she wishes to celebrate that. Now, of course, if they didn't turn up and they don't come or she didn't invite them, then she gets blasted, of course, for ostracizing them. That can be spun either way. Now, for Harry and Meghan, of course, if they do finally turn up and want to partake in something regarding this wonderful historic event, then, of course, that's their option. But right now, what I'm hearing is that the security fears that they have still haven't been resolved. So that's another big problem for Her Majesty the Queen. We should be taking that problem up too. And also, Harry and Meghan are still anchoring for something a little bit more prominent, indeed, with these celebrations moving forward. As ever, with all of these rolling and breaking stories, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.